What's going on guys? My name is Zach, your customer success manager over here at REI SIFT. In this video, we're gonna show you how to pull failed listings or expired listings uh, from the MLS, uh, not specifically from the MLS, but from PropStream, which gets some data from MLS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna open your PropStream account and you're gonna search by the county, uh, city, uh, zip code uh, that you want to search within. So once you get that, we're gonna use Okaloosa County for now. We're gonna go down to filter, quick list choice, failed listings. All right, we're gonna keep owner occupied, owner occupancy status, any uh, property characteristics, um, kind of similar to uh, list source. We're gonna go ahead and choose uh, what we're looking for. So we go ahead and choose all these single family uh, type properties, including multifamily five plus. You are free to choose whatever you please or whatever you are trying to uh, zone in on or uh, market to, okay? So keep that in mind. You don't have to do this um, exactly like we're doing it. Um, we're just giving you an idea of what to pull if you want to follow it, okay? So MLS status, uh, this is where you're going to do the most work. So on market, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep it any uh, listing date, we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, from a year back from today. So today is November 6th. So a year from today is the uh, same day, different year. MLS status is gonna be failed. Okay, days on market, we're gonna do from 90 days to 365 days. Listed below market price is gonna be yes. Ownership info, okay? We're gonna want um, ownership, years of ownership uh, three, a minimum of three or more. Sales date unknown, include unknown sales date. Yes, we're gonna keep that, okay? And then we're gonna do estimated value. So valuation and equity. We're gonna do a estimated value right here from 30,000. Now keep in mind, this will depend on your market, but we're gonna do up to 450,000. If you're in a market like California, I would suggest bumping this number of 450 up quite a bit depending on uh, what you're marketing to. Uh, you should have a good idea of who you're trying to target and what the price range is in your market. Um, estimated equity percentage is gonna be from 20% to 100%, okay? Like I said, everything else we're gonna keep the same. And then you have left. So we have about seven properties within that criteria for Okaloosa County. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that, upload it into our REI SIFT account. We're gonna go ahead and market to those leads, stack them, do whatever we have to do to market to these leads. That's about it. So if you got any questions, let us know. Feel free to reach out and you guys have a great day.